come back a little Sheba. I mean, you know, anything great's about a lot of things, so it's always sort of hard to pick one thing, but it has to do with our relationship to time passing and aging, um, which I know sounds like a barrel of laughs, but it, it's about sort of being trapped in the sequential moments of your life, as we all are, and arriving at a point where you didn't quite notice that you were starting to get a little bit older. Comeback Little Sheba is about a marriage between Doc and Lola, um, and it's about how one event in this marriage has really ruled a lot of their choices and their inability to let go of the past. There's a lot of gray explored in this, and that's, I think, the best art is that is something that an audience member can come and really pull something <laughs> from themselves and go, oh, no, that's me. I see that. I recognize me in that. It's such an opportunity to examine the messiness of what it is to be alive <laughs> and to be a human. And like we've talked a lot about that in rehearsals, about how something could be absolutely terrible and absolutely wonderful at the same time. So I just hope that this play kind of provides a, a mirror for the audience that they can see these people and identify with them. The things that David's doing in this production, uh, you'll see mundane, quotidian, pedestrian human behavior on stage. You're gonna see, you're gonna see silence, you're gonna see negative space. And that affords you as an audience the opportunity to really have an experience, like to really have an internal experience. I think things that are greatly universal, like this play, bear doing all the time, and it's a, it's a good idea to do it. It's beautifully observed writing. I think it's everything, everything you really want a play to be, which is by being incredibly specific about a few little things, a couple of days in these people's lives, it ends up being about everything. Like,